Well, in other education news, as schools try to rebound from the pandemic, eight schools in Denver are getting a chance to try out something new. They all won a grant from the Denver Public Schools Foundation that specifically is aiming to pay for creative solutions. Uh, Veronica Figoli joins me now. She's the president of the Denver Public Schools Foundation. And yeah, big deal. Where, how much money? Tell us first of all, and, and where exactly is this going? Well, thank you so much for having us uh, this morning. We're incredibly excited. Uh, the DPS Foundation is a strategic fundraising partner for Denver Public Schools. And we are giving, through the generosity of our donors, over a million dollars to our schools. Wow. And these are eight schools that participated in a competitive grant process. They presented their creative ideas their community ideas in how to break patterns of historical inequities in our schools. You know, we've talked so much about inequities in the past year. I tell, tell us about kind of where this idea came from and some of the creative solutions that are being proposed. Yeah, this idea came from the fact that we know our schools know better what our students need. Mm. We know that the best and most creative ideas come the closest to where the customer is. And that means the classroom, that means the school, that means the school community. And what the DPS Foundation wanted to do, wanted to, we wanted to provide a space to foster those ideas, to bold those ideas. And um, the money came from the donations of our donors who trust us with unrestricted dollars. Nice. So we can be nimble in our approach. Some of the schools that are receiving these dollars are Palmer, Palmer Elementary, which is creating a STEM program, particularly focused on supporting Black and Latino students. The other school is Bruce Randall, which, which is creating an agricultural pathway that would expose the students to hands-on experience to be able to prepare them immediately for work in agriculture. Wow. I, we have Respect Academy that is really doubling down on those students that actually have to work while they study and really providing wraparound services so they can thrive. I, I'm sorry, I almost interrupted there, but I wanted to say I just love all of these ideas so much, uh, getting them involved in work projects, STEM projects. Um, you know, how can our viewers support the Denver Public Schools Foundation in this great work you guys are doing? Well, I say that to give a million, we have to raise a million. And you can support us by going to our website, dpsfoundation.org. Every dollar counts. From the check that we receive, handwritten from a, an older woman every year for $5 to our large donations, this is the space to create opportunities for our students to really say, I care about DPS students. No matter what the politics are, it takes all of us for mm -hmm. every child to succeed. Uh, Veronica Fagoli with the DPS Foundation, thank you so much. This is a great program. We wish you guys the best of luck next year as hopefully things get back to normal. <laughs> thank you. Well, speaking of normal with families,